Alright you legends, and welcome to a brand new video on my channel. Now today, um, we are going to be looking at FIFA Ultimate Team in general. Now before I get on to the video, just a quick sort of plug. Um, this weekend, starting on Saturday night, the 3rd of December, uh, around 10pm till Sunday 10pm, uh, I'm going to be doing a 24 hour charity live stream for Great Ormond Street. Um, I'll leave a link to my Twitch in the description if you want to drop me a follow on there, turn the notifications on, etc. Uh, but if you want to come in, watch a stream, support it, that would be really, really appreciated. Uh, it would be great to see you all there. I am going to be playing Foot Champions this weekend, which will lead on into uh, part of this video. And also, if you do enjoy, please leave a like. And please comment your thoughts and opinions down below. I, I do like to know what you guys think uh, about the video and about Ultimate Team. Because, as I say, I primarily live stream. But I kind of want to make this YouTube channel something and sort of make it like a FIFA for the everyman. Um, I do spend quite a bit of money on it, I respect that. But this year, with the introduction of a lot of the things that EA have done, you can make coins for just playing the game uh, and being quite good at it. Especially with the way Foot Champions is. Um, you only have to get one good pack or, you know, when you're getting 45,000 coins finishing in the gold tiers, that's a decent, decent chunk. Now, this is the team that I have got. Now... The main title of this is The Great Day, and that's because uh, I want to take a look at Christian Eriksen. Now, this guy is my favourite player on Ultimate Team this year. Um, he has played 413 games for me, 131 goals, 150 assists. Now, I understand that that's not a mad ratio, however, I think that's solid. And <clears throat> what makes him so good is he's reliable. Um, I, I tend to find 8, 9 times out of 10, if he's in a one-on-one -on -one situation, he's going to score. Uh, I have him on all of my free kicks, all of my corners, um, and that 4-star skill moves, 5-star weak foot, perfect for a camp. Absolutely perfect. Um, you know, he can shoot from long range. I This is why I don't think he scored as many goals, is the way I play, I tend to get the ball as close to the goal as possible. I don't shoot a lot long range, and I probably should do as uh, he would definitely have a lot more goals, but uh, high medium work rates, even better. And now, the chemistry style, I think, is really, really important for Ericsson. I know people instantly decide to use Hunter, but Catalyst is just ideal for him. Um, I, I know it improves his uh, passing and his pace, um, and I mean, just... It's, as I say, it's the reliability of his card that just makes it so good. And he's sort of a player that I feel like I have to have in every single squad. Like, I do see a lot of people, like on Twitter, they chop and change teams regularly. This team has played a lot of games for me. Butland's played 158 games. He is solid. Um, he seems to be really, really overpowered. Begovic is another really good option if you're looking for a cheap goalkeeper. I've tried Courtois, I've tried Lloris. Just because I feel like if you're paying that much... For a player of that calibre, you'd expect better. And this is a point I'd like to make regarding, in this team, Ericsson and Walker. Now, I, as I say, I've played over 400 games of Ericsson. I actually, uh, if I go to the market and have a look, I bought his inform and tried it. And it was awful. I mean, literally awful. I mean, you could pick up normal Ericsson right now for, I'm pretty sure, 8,000 coins there. I mean... I mean, look, around 8,000 coins for a Christian Eriksen, which is a very, very, very good price for the player of his calibre. Now, if you have a look at his inform, which is two ratings higher, that is ridiculously... 163,000 coins is the cheapest price on the market for his inform. You're looking at basically around 150,000 coins more. I used this card, and it was terrible. Literally... And I don't know whether it's a mental thing. I've played with his normal card for so long that I expected better out of him. But he missed he missed easy one-on-ones. His shooting was awful. He just didn't seem like the same card. And he's supposed to be better. He's supposed to be better. It's the same with Carl Walker. Like, Inform Walker, he's, I, last time I looked, it was around 200,000 coins. He, he He's so expensive. And honestly, he is no better than his normal card. Like... I know some people might might say that, but as I say, I don't know if it's because I've mentally got used to playing with his normal card. I notice zero difference in his inform. I literally notice zero difference. However, though, however, like I've started with some special players. Like for example, I use special Barry, and I've not used other cards. So I, you know, I'm already playing with that like higher sort of caliber player. 
But Kante, for example, I f feel there is no need for me to buy Kante's inform on this game. He has played 351 games with me. I understand he's not scored that many goals or assists that much, but he is everywhere. Literally everywhere. If I need a tackle making, he's there. You know, he he's in the box, he's in the opponent's box. This card is probably my second favourite card in the game. As I say, Ericsson is the best. I mean, you've already seen, us, I've shown you a few times uh, in a video when I did the Jermaine Defoe video um, about how Ericsson plays. So I don't need to sort of show you that in a video. But seriously, try them out, guys. You've got, if you, you're looking for a cheap team, try them out. I mean, Kante is now very affordable. I think he's around 20,000 coins, which in terms of this FIFA, I don't think is a lot considering what EA have brought in. It's pointless to be trying his inform. There's no point me spending another 150,000 coins when he already does the job now. It's the same as the defenders. It's the same as defenders. Cabasele I paid 1,600 coins for. I tried Carlos Puyol, who cost me 440,000 coins. Because I thought, you know what, I want to try him out. He isn't better than a 76-rated Cabasele, who cost me 1,000 coins. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like I feel like... You don't have to. I know a lot of people say pay to. A lot of people might think this team's paid to win, but Hazard, for example, right, has scored 54 goals in 65 games. This card is absolutely ridiculous. He's playing up front on seven chemistry. He cost me about say 500,000 coins, maybe a little bit less because I got Benteke really cheap. But in terms of this game, I would say 500,000 coins is not really that many. And I think from most players that were good on this game, he was easily affordable. I've just bought Inform Kane for uh, 63,000. I haven't actually had a chance to try him out yet, but apparently he's really good. I was using Griezmann, uh, who I've got untradeable. Uh, he scored 30 and 55. I enjoyed Griezmann. Now, I've, I kind of feel like I'm forced to use him because I packed him in a two-player pack and there's nothing I can do with him. But he is, he is solid. He is solid. Um, it's the same with this purple Sterling card uh, when I got that. Two-star weak foot, unfortunately, for me, just... Let him down. I do like to have players that I don't have to think about where I'm shooting from. Uh, Rashford is another one who's played 308 goals. 200. That's a great ratio, I think, for this year's FIFA. If you need a cheap striker, buy Rashford. He most certainly uh, will do a job for you. I mean, trust me, he's really, really, really solid. Um, and Dembele is another one that I just don't feel like I can get rid of these players for, for others, if that makes sense. Like... I know he's left foot, and I did say about the two-star weak foot, but he can sort of cut inside, if that makes sense. It's just, for me, I, I struggle in a way to upgrade. Like, If I had to spend coins, I wouldn't mind maybe buying a manual Petit and putting him at CDM for Barry. But I think Barry's quality. And I just think the only thing stopping me now is my ability. Like, I have got used to this team um, on the game. Like... I don't know whether you feel the same, like you get used to a team. I do find you get better if you just stick to a team and don't chop and change. Um, I feel like if you're chopping and changing every week, you're going to expect different things. And I, and I just, I don't know, I feel like the cheaper the player, the less I expect from him. And then I therefore play better. I feel this has got a good balance. I know I have got like Hazard as a super player up front, but he is literally ridiculous. He is simply insane. I mean, as I say, the only other sort of player that I might put up front... Uh, would be maybe a legend striker. I wouldn't mind trying out Michael Owen. Would be quite a cool one. And I, and I think that is because when it comes to... I think with, when it comes to, say, a legend defender, the, the computer is still sort of doing the work for them. Whereas when you've got a striker, you can really get a feel for that player. You can you can get, you know... It's hard to explain, but I'm just you can get more hands-on, I think, when you've got a player in attack who's going to be on the ball a lot more, when you expect the defender to be positionally good. Puyol positioning was terrible. Um, a lot of through balls got, got in, and I didn't necessarily enjoy Now, I'm not even a great player. I mean, I have spent, as I say, quite a bit of money, but that record should be about even, really. I have got disconnected quite a lot on the game, and people will go, oh, I'm sure that's a lie, but honestly... From my live streams and stuff, if you watch them, you'll see it, it is quite frustrating. Um, the last thing I was going to explain as well is I do love what EA have done this year with their squad building challenges. I mean, if you look at my club, um, if we go to special, I've got some really, really cool like cards in here. I packed the foe in one of them inform packs. I will use him. Um, as I say, now this is an interesting one. I haven't had a chance to try the foe out yet because his normal card was ridiculously good. 
hopefully his inform will live up to the same expectations. Still got me uh, Sonny Bradley there from Argyle, my uh, my club. Uh, we've got Hazard, Sterling, Son. I didn't really enjoy too much, and I know these are untradeable, but luckily didn't cost me sort of too much. So I haven't uh, haven't wasted too many coins in him because even though I've not used him that much, uh, he was a pretty cheap squad building challenge. Now the last point I wanted to make in this video as well is is be try and be canny with your coins this year. Like small investments here and there are sometimes a really good way to make money. I have opened a lot of bronze packs. If you like packs and can't afford it, chill out and open some bronze packs because literally so much sells from them this year that if you're an Ultimate Team fan and you can't afford to, spend, afford to spend a lot of FIFA points, you don't want to waste mad coins on gold packs. Just chill and open some bronze packs. Honestly, I, as you see, I've got like 3,000 players in my club. When it comes to squad building challenges, you can sell them for so, so much more than you think. Um, you really, really can. When EA did the Black Friday, uh, I made like 2,000 coins just from selling like Premier League and Bundesliga bronze players because you need them for squad building challenges. Just store everything in your club and even if you want to, do the bronze upgrade challenges, get silver players, use them for squad building challenges. Just Bronze packs are a really, really good thing to, 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 to do this year. Like, legitimately, um, keep an eye out for like League One players. Um, keep an eye out for obviously your Belgian league players because some of them people just discard or list for 200 coins always check if you're not sure always check a player that'd be a tip from me because literally you see them get listed when you're sniping people are silly and uh, and do list them for cheap so, so check the prices is uh, the last sort of bit of advice I make but yeah I hope you enjoy this video something a little bit different I just wanted to have a sort of chat with you guys about ultimate team in general I mean I don't know what your thoughts are but good luck if you're playing in this Fut Champs weekend. I am. As I say, I will be streaming it for the charity stream, so make sure you check out the link in the description. Uh, please subscribe if you did enjoy the video. As I say, please do leave a like. I do appreciate you guys supporting the channel. And I will upload uh, as much as I can sort of when I'm not streaming to get fresh content out for you guys. But I hope you did enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.